What's going on, smart people? Yesterday, August 3rd, was my 24th birthday, and a while back I was talking with Kelly about how, t t to put it bluntly, I am utterly useless when it comes to building things and getting things to work. It's not that I always try and fail, it's just that I don't try and I just don't have the knowledge, so if you, even if I did try, I wouldn't know what to do. And I don't like that. So for my birthday, Kelly got me this starter electronic kit to start playing around with circuits and kind of relearn how they work. I say relearn, but really it's going to be learning for the first time because a lot of the stuff I've never heard of before. Uh, it's called the Most Complete Starter Kit Mega 2560. Of course you got to throw in the numbers. Don't get this confused with the 2559 model. We all know <laughs> what happened with that one. Uh, but it's this, it's this starter electronics kit. This video isn't sponsored or anything, but if you guys want to send some circuit stuff my way, feel free. Um, and I thought it would be fun to start making videos really learning first time how all of this stuff really works by doing little basic projects. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of go through this box and say what it's in and then we're going to go over to this little page that I have on my laptop that says what the mini projects are and the names of all of this stuff. I don't know what the hell this is. You can't really see it because it's a glare but it looks like a Wi-Fi something or other. I don't know. Um, let's go ahead and get started. Let's tear apart this little engineering thing and every now and then we're going to make videos where I try to build this stuff and I figured for these videos so it's Lego whatever that is um, I figured for these videos whenever I start to do the actual projects I would research the materials needed like the transistors or whatever and really research what it is that they do and what roles they serve because I don't know them and I don't want to just follow the instructions to say if you do this this will happen I want to understand what's going on uh, there was a time where I knew what a transistor was. We learned about junction, junctions and the holes and whatnot. I don't remember that stuff anymore. But as you can see right now, this is the packing list. This is what it comes with. We've got some server motor, which is, I guess, this guy right here. I think it's this guy. It looks like the same. I think it's a little bit different. Maybe they recolored stuff. I'm not too sure. But I think this is what it is. It says, uh, oh, this is a step motor servo motor whatever there there's motors and stuff in here there's the un 2000 see that stuff just makes me uh, that's gonna be a pet peeve of mine that i have to get over is just hearing them name things by the numbers uh uln 2003 stepper motor driver board one piece we've got a power module let's just get to the stuff that i actually recognize you guys can pause this and read the all of the technical names of stuff we got modules module i don't know what any of this stuff does the RFID module, the stepper motor, so that must have been what I just picked up. I don't know what the servo motor is supposed to do. Probably you guys do. The prototype expansion board, so this did come with its own like breadboard right here, and I guess you can extend it, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's get to the, the cooler stuff. What can you do? What else do we have? We've got a joystick. Okay, that's pretty cool. We can build our own little PlayStation 2. I never got, like, the... <laughs> I stopped getting new game consoles after the PlayStation 2 and the Xbox 360. Um, I wonder... You, I have no idea what you would do with this. This is kind of getting me excited, though, because... I don't want to just turn LEDs on. I can do at least that. I want to do something exciting and hopefully fun to watch. DH is so temperature and humidity module. Yeah, these names are not really doing anything for me. It doesn't really mean anything to me at this point. Maybe it will once we do projects that say, by the way, make sure you have your DS3231 RTC module. Okay. <laughs> uh, motion sensor. That's pretty cool. So there's motion sensors. We got a little joystick. Water level detection sensor. So that's what this thing is. I was wondering. Um... I'm not putting water anywhere near electronics. That doesn't sound like a good idea. But what the hell do I know? We've got some LED, or it looks like little displays. It's neat. Remotes. That's what I'm talking about. Something where I actually know what it is. A remote, a potentiometer. I remember using those before. Active buzzers and passive buzzers. Now, you may be asking, what's the difference between an active and a passive buzzer? Well, I don't know. Moving on. Uh, we've got a bunch of cables, USB cable. <laughs> See, my dumbass was like, oh, what? It came with a Game Boy charger? That's pretty cool. I assume this is going to be for Arduino. This whole circuit board stuff, I think you download the software for certain projects with Arduino, and then you can get this stuff to run. But I guess we'll be getting to that. Membrane switch, so maybe this is for code, like a 
a lock or something. I don't I have no idea. It comes with a little battery. Another motor. Dude, it, it's kind of exciting how clueless with I that I am with this kind of stuff because there's so much to learn. It came with two different motors. I don't know, you can't really see this guy right here, but it's way smaller. Um, I don't know what the difference is. Fan blade, so we can get a fan to move. That's exciting. Honestly, gun to my mom's head if you were like, Andrew, I'm going to shoot unless you get this fan to turn on. I'm like, Mom, we had a good run. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. But this is going to be fun. Electrolytic capacitors. A bunch of capacitors, transistors. Like I said, there was a time where I knew what a transistor did, but not anymore. Resistor, 120 resistors. That's cool. I wonder if it's a different... It all looks like it's the same resistance. Um, it doesn't say the resistance on there. I just know that the little bands around the resistor, the colored bands, tell you what the resistance is in some kind of weird code language that uh, only experimentalists can understand. And as theorists, we were never given the translation, so I don't know what the resistance would be. Uh, we've got a little button. That's fun. Diode rectifier. I don't know how that... I've heard of full bridge rectifiers from... Uh, Electroboom's channel, but that's about it. A thermistor. I have never heard of that in my life. What the hell is a thermistor? Most of the stuff I've, I've sort, or not most of it, but a lot of this, it's like, okay, I've kind of heard those words together a little bit. Not the numbers for sure, but, you know, electrolytic capacitors and, and stuff. I've never heard of a thermistor in my life. We've got the regular LEDs. I don't think I'll make a video getting LEDs to turn on, unless it's like something cool, like some, uh, that Trans-Siberian Orchestra, like, light show thing, maybe there's, like, projects with that where it's, like, um, you, you can say I want it to flash at this interval or something, but I don't know. Photoresistor cell, photo cell, um, sounds like a, like a solar panel or something like that. I don't know, we got our more capacitors. I know that certain capacitors are temperamental on the way you put them in. You put them in one way, they explode. You put them in the other way, it's fine. I don't know if that's the case for all of them or not. But here we have the actual content. We have the libraries, the IDE. So I'm assuming this is the software that actually lets you use Arduino. Uh, libraries and the serial motor. Blink LED. So I think these are the projects. Hopefully these are the projects. So it starts with blinking LED. Blink, honestly, <laughs> that sounds kind of cool. Let's see what this is. So basically my thought process this is still completely open-ended and I'm open to feedback and suggestions but I kind of want to just run through these little projects and see what the tools are what the little when I'm supposed to use this guy so when someone says hey I'm doing this project I'll be like hey remember to use your your water sensor um, I think that that would be pretty cool and to actually know how this thing works the, the bigger pieces I know that there's so much more to it. Like, I don't know, like, there's a bunch of little things in this big piece. Um, but hopefully you can figure that out at some point. So let's check out, I guess, just the Blink one. We're not going to be building anything today, but just to see what this stuff has to offer. What's the Blink? Uh, in this lesson, you'll learn how to program your controller board to Blink the Arduino's built-in LED and how to download programs. So maybe I will do this one just to, as, as an introduction to Arduino. Like I said, actually I may not have mentioned that in uh, undergrad we did take an electronics course and we used Arduino. I didn't really, in my opinion, circuit-based classes shouldn't really be group work. I think it should be one person kind of playing with the circuit until they do it. Ours was with two people, which probably can work, but it, it really didn't. What happened was uh, my partner was like really into circuits and he was able to do all the stuff and kind of, I think, already knew how the stuff worked. So we breezed right through it, and I didn't get too much out of the course. But we did play with um, Arduino, which was kind of cool. I don't remember how it works anymore, naturally, but anyways. I wonder if you can get things like Python to communicate to this stuff. It's still pretty new. So this is just going to get lights to flash. Maybe maybe as a little introductory, but then we'll move on to some more interesting things. Uh, digital inputs, active buzzer. So in this lesson, you'll learn how to generate a sound with an active buzzer. So that's... I guess that's what this thing is. So here, there's these little little cylinders with some mesh grid on them, and I thought that they looked like speakers. Maybe that's what they actually is. It actually is what they actually are. I'm not too sure. But that's gonna be exciting. So yeah, maybe we'll do something. We'll make some sounds, make some beeps, and possibly even some boops if we're feeling crazy. This is gonna be fun. I'm really looking forward to this. Um, 
I'm gonna show you guys, I'll leave a link to this stuff, to this, um, I guess instruction manual in the in the description, and you guys can just comment which ones sound the most interesting, or or maybe please don't do this one. That just sounds boring. Like I have a feeling the LED stuff will be boring to you guys. You probably could already figure that stuff out. But I mean, we got numbers on here. I don't know. Maybe that would be cool. This is just completely novel to me. I'm gonna go up here just to give one last look through with the different projects. And so let's see. We've got the active and passive buzzer tilt ball switch, not sure what that is, ultrasonic sensor module, membrane switch, temperature and humidity sensor. That's interesting. So we can like build our own little weather machine and tell you if it's hot or cold outside. Um, I mean, I live in New Mexico, so I'm assuming the humidity will register zero all the time if that's what it's doing. Analog joystick, that sounds cool to me. I don't know what you'd do with it. It's not like there's, it didn't come with any cars or something to get stuff to work. But uh, I guess we'll see what that has to, what that is. Actually, let's check that out real quick. What is the analog joystick? We're looking for this guy. Joystick. Analog joysticks are basically potentiometers, so they return analog values. When the joystick is resting in the position or middle, it should return a value of about 512. So maybe we're using the joystick to display things on, I don't know if it's gonna be on the computer or on these little number things but so that looks like the uh where was it that was a little analog joystick we've got clocks that's cool lcd displays thermometers uh serial monitors photo cells i wonder if that ends up being like a a uh like solar power thing i don't know my dad used to work with the solar power photo cells and stuff so then we have dc motors and then a stepping motor i think it's so cool because this is such a um, like a, a frontier for me. I don't know electronics. So when you watch these videos in the future, if I explain what the hell this thing does, take everything with a grain of salt because I'm gonna research all of these parts before I make the video so that I can try to put together what their roles are. But, you know, I'll be looking that stuff up like as, as I'm following the instructions. So I don't have complete understanding. I, I probably won't while I do these kinds of videos. So keep an eye on the comment section if someone is like, that's not entirely how this works, it's more so like this. This isn't gonna be a how to make a fan run, it's gonna be a watch me struggle trying to get a fan run and try to explain how this stuff maybe works. But I'm, I'm looking forward to this, I hope you guys are as well. Let me know in the comment section some, some suggestions if you've checked out these lessons and stuff you'd like to see or stuff you definitely wouldn't like to see. Um, and I'll see you guys there.